today is just a great day. And I want to tell you, uh, it's easy to look like a good coach when you got a good team. And I'm going to tell you one thing. We have an amazing team in this room. And this is not the extent of our team. There are hundreds and thousands of people across our community that have done lion's share of the work to get us what we need. From the day I walked into this lady's building over there and you shook my hand and you invited me to be a part of this work, there's never been a day where I didn't fight with kids. There's never been a day where I didn't spend every ounce of my energy cultivating a team that is remarkable. And that's what I have. I have people in this community that love our kids. We have a, a local government that communicates to whoever they need to to get what we need. We have a board that is 100% behind what's right for kids. And I've got a little lady I married 24 years ago that keeps me sane. And she is in the room tonight, and I appreciate the effort and energy that Shannon Sheehy has done behind the scenes uh, to keep me your superintendent, no doubt. Um, this message that, you know, and I've, I've, I've thought thousands of times of what I could say. And all the work's been done at the building uh, for the education. The structures that we put in place, all the central office staff that supports that work. Uh, we appreciate you. Um, but my board members, I want you to know, they set this vision. They took a chance on a country kid uh, a long time ago. And I made them a commitment. And I told them, you give me a shot at this, I can tell you this. Y'all correct me when I start lying. I said, this much change is going to take us a long time because there was a lot to do. I also told them, leave me here for five years and I guarantee you won't recognize the place. And that is exactly what we began doing. We began doing it. We brought a team group together. And again, I, I know that Shelly expressed, and, and I've made no bones about it, I think it's an absolutely terrible model. And I, I, we, we happen to hit an earmark of a B, which I'm incredibly excited about, but I want you to know I'm more excited about the work we started doing. We started making a decision that we're going to do what's right for kids regardless of what MDE does. And they fought us. I want you to know they have fought us all along the way. They have tried to keep us from doing things, and when we would do things, they would put protocol in place to keep us from doing things, but we still kept on doing it. That, that accumulation of points is not nearly what all we're doing. We have a Mississippi State Engineering course that's also to our students. First public school in the state of Mississippi because we, the largest employer in our town happens to be that little thing over there, uh, that Erdick, that right, right, the little bitty place over there, right? So when you start making a vision that says we want students to graduate college, career, and life prepared, that's our goal, right? And we bridge education to employment. We spend all our time, and there's a bullet list. If you hadn't gotten one, please pick it up. That has the accomplishments that matter much more than what MDE thinks about us. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. That's what Chad thinks. However, I do know that there's a lot of people that wanted to know what this letter meant. And there's a lot of people that would love to spend the hours and hours and hours it would take. I have uh, a reporter that stopped at my office not too long ago, and we literally spent an hour and a half in, in explaining the mechanisms of how that, that, that letter is generated. But I want you to know that it reminded me when I was talking about how I was going to do, uh, the message I want to leave you with is the muddy middle, right? Muddy middle is the tough work. Muddy middle is where all these educators who've been here with me, several have been here the whole time, and they knew what it was like to go through the muddy middle. It's easy to start things. And it's fun to finish things, right? That muddy middle is tough. And it reminded me of a trip I took with my wife and kids to Disney World. Shannon, don't be mad at me, but I'm not responsible for what makes fun of my mouth. But when we started, right, we, we talked to the kids, and we talked about where we were going. We were taking this big trip, right? We're headed this way, and everybody was excited. We bought mouse ears and matching shirts, and we packed and planned and got our agenda together and put everything together, and we hit the road. And we were going to drive straight there. Well, somewhere between the start and driving straight there, there were multiple obstacles, right? We, we had some things that, that occurred. Uh, Fatigue set in. We actually had to pull over at one point and get a hotel we had no intention of getting. There were some road closures that we thought we were going to be able to go down that didn't happen. Um, and in some cases, as the, as the, uh, the, the uh, accountability rating uh, falls, we even had exits that were moved down the road an extra 100 miles. <laughs> so inside that, you know, I, I thought about this B, and, and we are proud of that. I don't want to belittle the hard work that it took. And when I say a B, it's hard to come from where we were to 
today. I want you to know it is hard to do the work that has been done. My hat's off to all the educators that have done that. Um, what I will make you aware of is once we got to that sign where you take the exit, I don't know if you've ever been to Disney World, there's that big entrance and they got all the characters. That's a B to me, right? We're incredibly proud and excited. That's not what we're stopping. This is, this is a signpost on the way to where we're going. And we committed a long time to go to double down on what research said, right? We do process monitoring on a strategic plan and that strategic plan has driven everything we do. We are standard reference. Some folks got crazy mad at us when we made some of the decisions to reconstruct the school district. Why are you doing this? This is nuts, because research says it'll work. Right? We did things, uh, we, we, we toured uh, thousands of people throughout the district over the last five years of multiple states. I don't remember, I lost count, 20, 30, I can't even keep up. We had a boatload of folks from California, I mean, just everywhere. And the statement I love to hear more than anything is, They'll look at me and go, is this a public school? Yes, it is. And if you have not been on a tour, all you got to do is sit down and you see the leadership that we're building. We're building the capacity for kids to have lives past us. We have partnerships with people in this room and business members and community members that have fought legislators who have gotten their gloves on to come in and say, this is what we got to have. Not just for money, but for structures that work. And I appreciate that. And as much as I love the because I'm so excited be honest with you, I never, I never, I never uh, uh, spend much time talking about it because it really is irrelevant in the grand scheme of where we're going. But it's very relevant in the way that people view us and the way that folks communicate about us. Um, when Delbert Hoseman did his uh, one of his visits, he walked in and he looked at what was going on and he said, "This, this can't be right. This can't be happening inside this rate." And I told him, "I said, well, just hold on, give us time." Those of you that don't know this, for the last two years, we have not received a rating. Nobody in the state did. The year of 2019, when we did our benchmark data, in December, before COVID hit in March, in December, our projections with proficiency and growth had us eight points from the B rating in 2019. And we had to wear the albatross that was thrown at us multiple times. But at the end of the day, we knew this was coming. We weren't shocked at all as a district. And we're very proud but we're not stopping here. You that are out there, I want you to know that there is no way in the world we could have done this without you. There is no way that any of this could have occurred without the support of this community. We need to be our best advocacy agents. We need to be the army of positivity for Pittsburgh. Because I don't know if you check, nobody's gonna show up in this town and come save us, right? It's up to us to make us better. Don't spend your time cursing the darkness by a candle. That's what we do here. We look at the things that are remarkable and we replicate it. The things that aren't working, we get rid of it. And every year it's a rolling process. And, and at the end of the day, those kids walking out of here with a solid foundation of what they want to do with the rest of their life is our goal. We want them to graduate college career and life prepared. We want them to select whether they want to be employed by themselves, because there's several people in this room that work for yourself. And I hear that's a pretty good gig. There, there are people that have industry certifications that are employed, that they aren't those with us. There are people that go to college that never thought they could get an opportunity, and they're enrolled in post-secondary institutions, but that's where their, their, their future's going to take them. And there are people that are serving in the armed, enforcement, in armed forces with enlistment. That's our goal. Whether that shows up on an accountability model or not, I'm not so much concerned about that because I want our kids to take everybody else's jobs. I want our kids to live successful lives. I want our kids to enroll in college like my son did at Mississippi State University. I'm one of my Ole Miss grad, but at Mississippi State <laughs> University, he did his special ed, uh, finished his special education degree. And the advisor said she's never had a kid that enrolled at Mississippi State and is certified in five areas. And that is because of the immense dual credit that we offer in our district. I know there's a lot of people, and I'm not diminishing anybody's experience in the past, because I know there's some very proud Gators and Vikings and everything else in between here. But these are our good old days, guys. We got the highest performance we've ever had. We got the highest graduation rate we've ever had. 
You talk about the amount of money, $16 million worth of dual credit benefit to college that this community got to keep in their pocket and not invest in their own children. The district, this board, when you talk about early education and providing kids what they need, we're an Excel by five community through a partnership. We also have pre cash We had two when I got here, we got 17 now. Guess what? My board didn't get any extra money for that. We had to make it work inside the board. But they buckled down, made good decisions about what was right, ignored all the rocks being thrown, kept the course forward, and we are one step closer to making sure that our kids are where they need to be when they leave us. Um, I thank you for the opportunity to serve here. Um, whether this is the appropriate time to say this, I've had a gazillion job offers to leave. I promise you I have. If I wanted to be anywhere else, I could. This work is a mission, and you are a part of this mission with us. There's nothing that could draw me away from this. I wanted to be here. I have been committed, and I will continue to love and cherish my moments with this district, and I will serve these kids for as long as I'm allowed. Uh, thank you so much for everybody taking the opportunity. <laughs> Teachers and students have worked very hard to uh, reinvent education, and uh, that's what we've done. Uh, it's a signpost on the way to where we're headed, uh, and it's a great achievement, and we're very proud of everybody.